Number one, graph Carmen's function on the same grid as Sam's. Which line is steeper? So I'm going to take Carmen's, which is the table, and I'm going to graph 0 and 200. I'm going to graph 1 and 150, 2 and 100, 3 and 50, and then 4 and 0. Connect my dots, and there we go. Which is steeper? Carmen's line is steeper. Number two, how does the graph show that the rate of change is negative? The lines go down, so the rate of change is negative. Number three, suppose Sam decides to pay for his bicycle in two equal weekly payments. How would that affect his rate of change? Would Sam pay more or less than Carmen each week? So, if Sam wanted to do it in two payments instead of five, okay, because right now he's paying $25 each week. His bike totals $125, but if he wanted to do that in two weeks, right, he wants to do it in two payments, then he would be paying $62.50 each week. So, his payment would go up and he would pay more than Carmen because Carmen only pays $50 each week. He would be paying $62.50 each week. Number four. Hector wants to buy a new computer monitor. The prices and payment options are different at two stores. Which store has a greater monthly payment? Explain. So, each month at store A, he has to pay $50. For store B, it's going down $25 each month. So, store A has a higher monthly payment because the rate of change is greater. Number five, Kata and Adam are both taking a 200 mile road trip. Their driving speeds are shown below. Which driver has the greater rate of change? What does this mean in the context of the problem? So Kata is going up 40 each time. Adam goes from 0 to 200, but he does it over 4, so he is going 50 miles per hour. Adam Adam has a greater rate of change. which means he drives faster. Number six, look at the graphs in problems four and five. Which graphs have a positive rate of change? Which graphs have a negative rate of change? And explain how you know. So, graph in number four has a negative rate of change because the graph goes down. Number five has a positive rate of change because the graph goes up.